Hayden, where are we going? Where are we? Are we going swimming? Go you want to go to the pool? Say hey guys. Hey guys. We are doing a day in the life video today. Little man is yawning in the back, but we're going to the swimming pool. So we're going to take you guys along with our on our day with us. <laughs> Buddy, did you have fun? Did you have fun? We are back home. Little man is about to get in the bathtub, and me and Devin are gonna change out of our swimsuits, and then we're gonna make some chicken burritos for dinner. So I'm excited. I'll show you guys. All right, guys. Tonight we are cooking out of this easy classic casseroles from Gooseberry Patch, and I am making these double cheese burritos. And this is the picture of the recipe and yum they look amazing so i already um preheat your oven first i've already done that this is the first time i'm trying this recipe um it says four to five boneless skinless chicken breasts cooked and shredded but i'm actually going to use canned chicken because i have some on hand um an eight ounce package of cream cheese softened 12 ounce jar of salsa divided and eight 10 inch flour tortillas and eight ounces of pasteurized um processed cheese spread cubed which is like Velveeta and um, we're gonna go through this so if you want to pause the video at all and screenshot that or something you'll see the recipe but I'll walk you guys through okay so I like I said I'm using canned chicken my husband is my cameraman back behind the camera for me but um yeah I just used two cans of cooked chicken breast this was some that I got from Walmart I normally buy it from Costco but I was at Walmart one day and I'm gonna give theirs a try um, I'm going to see if two cans is enough because it did call for four to five boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I may need another can. We'll see. Let me get this little piece of fat out of there. And then the next thing that we're going to need is a block of cream cheese softened. We're going to pop that in with the chicken. And then we're going to need a 12 ounce jar of salsa. This is 24 ounce, so of course I'm not gonna use this whole thing. But um, to mix in with this mixture to start off with, you need a cup of salsa. So I'm gonna get about, whoop, about a cup of salsa in there. And now we're just gonna mix this well together. So it's mix well. And this is gonna be our filling that goes in our tortilla shells. All right, guys, so we're going to start filling our tortillas. This will be the next step. Like I said, you're going to need eight 10-inch um, tortillas. So we're going to put these here and just spoon a good mixture right in the middle of the tortillas. We'll see how this goes. Let me start with this. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. I don't want to start with too much because I have quite a bit to fill. And let's roll the sides in. I'm not very good. My husband is the really good burrito roller. And he's behind the camera. But we're going to do the seam down and we're going to layer them in our 9 by 13. So I'll show you once I get them all done. All right, guys. So I've got my last little bit. Somehow I managed to squeeze these burritos in there. I didn't think I was going to get them all. But... I think I can make them fit. Look at that, that looks so pretty. So we're gonna put those to the side and work on the next step. All right guys, so next, I have, I've had this little thing of Velveeta that I haven't used in my refrigerator for a little bit that I needed to use up. So um, yeah, if you have the Velveeta brand or like Walmart brand or whatever kind of brand of this meltable cheese, you want to cut it kind of small. The smaller cubes you get, the quicker it'll melt down. And we're going to pop it in a saucepan. And let's see what it says to do next. Um, melt cheese cubes in heavy saucepan, and then we're going to pour it over the tortilla. So I'm getting this all cubed up and going to put it in the saucepan. All right, guys, so I've got our Velveeta in there melted down. And guys, when you're doing this in your saucepan, 
Be sure to constantly stir it so it doesn't burn to the bottom. But we're just gonna pour this over our burritos. Get it good on there. All right, and then we're gonna take, it says just to take the remaining salsa and just kind of sprinkle it around. And like I said, guys, my jar is a little bit bigger, but it might not be a bad thing depending on how much salsa you like. So I'll show you this when I'm done. All right, guys, so I just spread the salsa over top. Look how yummy these look. I'm gonna pop them in the oven, preheated to 350 for 30 minutes, and I'm gonna make some rice on the side too, so you can make whatever you want. I might make rice and corn. So this is what it looks like so far. All right, guys, I just got them out of the oven after being in there for 30 minutes. They look really good. They are really hot, so we're gonna let them sit for a minute. I also made some yellow rice, and I've got some corn, so I will put it all together on the plate and let you guys see it all finished Look at up. These plated up. Are you excited, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at those. These look the prettiest. Look at those. Yum. Let's see how they taste. Are you gonna give us a taste test? No, nah, it's hot. I In a second, that. not yet. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, Dad, what do you think? <laughs> oh, what? I was forgetting to do the taste test and I've ate a lot of mine. It's really, really good. I like this recipe. What do you think? I think the Velveeta on it is very rich, but it's good. Mm. I maybe next time wouldn't do as much Velveeta. What do you think? Uh -huh. But it's definitely good. We're definitely eating it up. It was a good dinner. It was a success. Hey guys, it's much later. It's actually almost 11 o'clock. And before I get my shower and head to bed, I'm gonna quickly load the dishwasher from dinner time. Um, we definitely put a hurting on the burritos. Devin did, there is some missing because he did go ahead and pack some for his lunch. But um, yeah, they were great. So thank you guys for joining us today. And I definitely wanna make some more little day in the life videos soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here.